Hey everyone. John Jackson Miller is one of my favorite authors. He wrote one of my favorite comic book series, Knights of the Old Republic. And this has to come as one of my favorite expanded universe novels, Kenobi by John Jackson Miller. John Jackson Miller makes this a western, a Star Wars western about Obi-Wan Kenobi shortly after Revenge of the Sith. It's about a bunch of moisture farmers on Tatooine and their exploits. We meet a whole bunch of characters and how they really in they interact with Kenobi. That's overall the main, sort of the main theme of this book, but there's a lot more to it. Uh, some of the farmers have this thing called the Settler's Call. When the Tuscan Raiders invade a farm, they go out and they stop them. So they have this sort of militia going on because there really isn't any law on Tatooine. And of course, there's all sorts of um, shady business going on with the uh, Settler's Call. Uh, and Obi-Wan has to stop it. That's pretty much the whole thing of this book. I really like this book. And it's mainly because there's so much EU in this book. For instance, John Jackson Miller references Knights of the Old Republic and Knight Errant, as well as bringing in a character called Mosep Benid, who was basically Jabba's accountant. He was in the Marvel comics. I have the action figure over there of him. Uh, but um, he often took the name Jabba the Hutt, and it actually explains that in this book, which is really nice. Uh, another cool thing about this book now is that two of the characters have made appearances in the new Star Wars canon. A Yark, one of the main Tusken Raiders, makes an appearance in from a certain point of view, and Mosep Benid himself makes a, an appearance in one of the stories in Canto Bight, both of them by John Jackson Miller. So I really like that this story is kind of transcending both canons. Is it part of the new canon? No, not yet at least. Um, also, it has some continuity with Dave Filoni's Clone Wars, with the mention of Satine, because the, a lot of these chapters are bridged with Obi-Wan's meditation, and this is when we get to hear Kenobi talk uh, his character in it because for the most part he's not the main focus except for in these meditations where he's talking to Qui-Gon and he talks about his failings and the fact that he can't train Luke um, and just a whole bunch of stuff to Qui-Gon in hopes that Qui-Gon will answer him and um, well I won't spoil that because I plan on re revealing that book in the not too distant future so, anyway, what do I give this? I give this a 5 out of 5, because this is a very solid read. It's self-contained. You could just pick this up after, like, watching Revenge of the Sith and not ever read a Star Wars book, and you'd get a lot out of this. I think this is an excellent starting book for someone. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review, and there's more EU to come. Uh, have a nice day.